In this problem, we're asked to revolve this triangular region, R3, around the line x equals negative 3. So what we would like to do is add a line for x equals th negative 3 to our drawing, which will be a vertical line. So we're going to be revolving around a vertical axis. And we can see that our outside radius is going to be out here at 8. And that's going to get revolved all the way around that way. And our inside radius is going to be our curve here, line x equals 4, getting revolved around this way. So we are going to have an empty center, so we're going to have a disk situation. And again, we're revolving around a, a vertical axis, so we want it in terms of y. Now, one thing to notice, my outside radius, whether I do it from up here or down where I did it before, it's always the same distance from our axis of rotation. So if we draw, that would be our big radius there. We'll call it capital R. Well then, capital R is going to be a constant. It is 0 to 8 from the y-axis, but it's another 3 units here. So it's a total of 11 units. And there's our big R. Now our little radius differs. Oops, let's get it all the way there to our vertical axis. Differs depending on where we choose it. So that would be our little r, or this would be our little r up here. So that tells us it's based on the function because it varies. Now we know this distance from the y-axis to our curve is 4y. And then this distance here is another 3. So we're going to have 3 plus 4y for our little r. And we're almost home now. Once you have your big and little radius, it's just a matter of setting up the structure for your integral, which we'll do over here. So we're going to start our integral for volume. We're going to multiply by pi, an easy one to forget. Our big radius is 11. That'll be getting squared because of the shape of, because of the cross sections of the area of a circle. And our little radius, as we determined, is 3 plus 4y. We wanted it in terms of y because we had a vertical axis. So we're going to be integrating with respect to y. Now the only other thing we need are the limits. Now it's just our region, R3, which is this green triangle that's being rotated. So we only need to integrate over the y values, which start down here at the x-axis, so where y is 0. And they go up to this top line here, which is where y is 2. And that will give us our integral for volume.